Hey, today I'll show you how to send unlimited emails on LinkedIn with Sales Navigator. If you don't have Sales Navigator, no worries. I made a video for free accounts as well. You can find it in the description. With a basic Sales Navigator subscription, you're limited to 50 emails. This can be limiting if you have more leads to connect with. However, I have three methods to help you contact up to 400 leads per week. First, let's use Open Profiles. This feature allows LinkedIn users to receive in-mails from any other person on the platform, which means you can contact them without using any in-mail credits. About 35% of users have open profiles, and you can send up to 200 in-mails per week with this method. Here's an example. As you can see, I'm not connected with John, but I can still message him. When I click message, it says it's a free message. This is because John has an open profile. The challenge is you can't see if a user has an open profile without checking each user one by one. But don't worry, we have a solution. We'll use the Prospero Chrome extension to detect open profiles on Sales Navigator. First, go to prospero.io and sign up. Then download the Prospero Chrome extension from the Chrome store. I'll add the links below. After installing the extension, go to Sales Navigator and make a lead search. For this example, I'm searching for heads of growth in small companies which gives me 1,000 results. To know which of these are open, I'm going to export them as a CSV file by clicking Export with Prospio. After a few minutes, my extraction is complete, and I get a spreadsheet with 40 data points, which include valuable data like gender and time zones. I can also spot open profiles through the column Lead Open Profile. Keep in mind that Prospio also finds verified work email addresses with the best accuracy, so you can contact these leads by email as well. To maximize our outreach, we'll send emails to open profiles and emails to the rest. This way, we'll reach every lead on our list. Let's get back to it. Now that we have our list, we'll automate our outreach using meetalfred.com, a LinkedIn automation tool. I'll initiate my LinkedIn campaign. Click CSV and upload my spreadsheet. Once it's done, I'll add a LinkedIn step and select in mails. On this page, I can customize my message. As you can see here, this step only targets open profiles. With the in-mail campaign set, I will create an email campaign for those without open profiles. Make sure to remove contacts with open profiles from your spreadsheet before uploading. Otherwise, they get both your in-mails and emails. So I'll upload my file. And click on email. Here I'll customize my email. Don't forget to add personalization by clicking personalize to get a better response rate. And just like that, I've set up a system to send up to 200 open emails and 200 emails a week to people outside my network. Let's continue to tip number two. On LinkedIn, you can message people in your groups, even if you're not connected. To do this, simply join relative LinkedIn groups. The platform search bar can help you find groups aligned with your interests. For example, I'll type growth and click on Groups. Here I can join a few groups. As you can see, some join automatically, but others you have to wait for admin approval. Once joined, I can head back to meetalfred.com to set up a campaign targeting these group members. Here I create a LinkedIn campaign and select LinkedIn group as my source. From here, I can select any group to create my campaign. And finally, tip number three, LinkedIn events. Same principle as before, but it's even simpler because with events, you don't need to get accepted. Like the previous method, I'll search for growth. But this time I'll select events. Once I find a relevant event, I'll open it and register by clicking attend. I will then return to meet Alfred, but this time when creating a campaign, I will select LinkedIn events and then paste the link of the event. So, those were my three tips to get around LinkedIn's in-mail limits, but keep two things in mind. First, consistency in follow-ups is crucial. Remember, only 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Secondly, if you use an in-mail credit and you get a response, you'll get that credit back. So make sure to send good in-mails over wanting to send more. Thanks for watching. For more tips on Sales Navigator and generating leads, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.